What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel third gen junkies. You know who it is Chris and on today's episode We're finally gonna get this exhaust taken care of on black magic. So black magic You've seen on the video before last all the issues that we had with these crappy exhaust clamps so I went ahead and got on the Amazons and got a good clamp three inch almost like a fat flat band clamp but better um kind of want to actually take it apart and put it over instead of having to pull the pipes apart from each other to get them on but i'm not sure how this is going to work out and i've got the milwaukee impact ratchet wrenches starting to sprinkle a little bit so I'll put this stuff over here on black magic Put those on, you know, on the car cover so it doesn't damage, you know, all this perfect paint on the old girl, you know. She's got that perfect paint, that perfect patina paint, you know. Got that perfect patina, I mean, all them beautiful cracks in the paint, I mean, them are like crow's feet, you know. And that's for, for them experienced old girls, you know what I mean experienced old girl see that look at that mm -hmm. sexy girl well yeah uh, go ahead and we're gonna rip these uh crappy exhaust clamps off of here we're gonna get some good ones on it i should have did this about an hour ago when it wasn't so dreary and cloudy i didn't know this was gonna happen the sun's behind the clouds over there but we'll go ahead and Try to rip this stuff apart and see if we can get these bad boys on here. Because I hate the exhaust clamps that are on here. I do not want this exhaust to fall off with me driving, the wife, wife driving, anybody driving. And you guys seen the last one. I got it up and got it pretty good, but you know, these exhausts are garbage. I mean you can see right there how I tightened it down. If you look real close right there, see that huge gap right there where the head of the bolt is underneath this lip right here. And then if you look at the back side, I tightened it and it pulled this whole thing wide open. And it probably sounds like I'm talking into a microphone because the exhaust tip is right where my mouth is. But first and foremost, I think we're going to take this one off. That's the one that I had to crank down pretty hard and get this one on. And I'm hoping that I could just take the clamp apart, pull this one off, take the clamp apart, the new one, and just slip it over and then put it back together in the same orientation and run it down. And then do the same with the tips. Um, that flat band clamp that is right about there. That one is going to stay because I've never had a problem out of that one. So it'll be easier to take this all apart. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up. I know that it's a 15 mil for the new clamp bolts and a 14 mil for the old one. So we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and uh, see if I can get this guy. Okay. Get it off real quick. Make this video quick to the point. Hopefully, it doesn't take me three and a half hours to do this. I'm really hoping not. Not looking forward to it, anyways. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy off of here. So I hit it with this impact and. I knew it was going to destroy the clamp, but... Oh, this thing is so garbage, it won't even come apart. <clears throat> come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's a better, better view of how these things are made. 
literally one piece of steel that's flat and they roll this over the end of these stupid things like this and when you tighten it down it just destroys this here and then it don't hold for crap so these are scrap I will never use these again and the ones that I have right there I won't even keep them as backup I'd rather go to AutoZone or go somewhere else and get something way better than this garbage so now I'm gonna take this guy and clamp it together pull it apart oh I'm gonna have to look at one of these and see where that washer went yeah the washer went under the head of the bolt okay now let's see if I can pop this guy out I might not even need to I might be able to get it over it like that but I want to orient it the same way as the one I had on there previous so I don't have to fight with it but I don't want to have to bend it open any further to where I have to fight with it to get it back on so I'm not sure if this thing actually comes off here it should figures I haven't done anything all day and then when I go decide to shoot a video everybody wants to message me <laughs> imagine that um let's see give me a second let me go get a screwdriver all right guys let's see if we can get this thing off here I don't know if I'm be able to it looks like it's pressed on I think they're actually made you pull the pipe apart you slip it on slip it in and then tighten it down but I'm trying to get this thing off I don't know it should come off of there Either that or it's just a really tight fit. Oh, well. uh, let's see here. All right, guys. So it seems as though this middle section piece is kind of pressed onto this barbed thread piece, and I can't get it off. The problem is I don't want to bend this way out of proportion to the point that I can't grab it and pull it back together like this to be able to clamp it down. So. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't want to do this, um, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to pull it back off. Um, I'm going to have to pull the exhaust down. Probably put the muffler back on the jack like I did before. Do the wiggle and jiggle like I had did. Now it's funny because I got it on easy. <laughs> but I don't want to come off easy. <laughs> um, let's see here. <laughs> Hear the gas sloshing around. That's funny. It's even better is I can't now I can't get it to slide off. <laughs> Maybe I should have just left it alone, huh? <laughs> or maybe yeah because this is going to be a pain oh wait hold on 
stupid block is going to be in the way of me getting all their block and everything together to thread that thing on but I have a trick for that so the problem is is me being able to get in here oh actually as long as I can do it like this be able to pull it together get the this piece on and that piece on and get it to thread get it to start threading then I shouldn't have a problem and I can rotate it to where I want it and then lock it down so um, I'll be right back all right back again <clears throat> I'm hoping hoping I'm not saying that it will but and there's a way that I can bigger okay I will only problem is that I'm against the floor it's kind of hard to maneuver but maybe that'll actually work I use the floor as a handle like this God damn it dang it dang it dang it dang it come on now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grip it pull it together but also pull it toward the ground so that it's tight against the top of the pipe and then I can get the bolt to line up with this hole here and only having a few hands to do it it's kind of hard but come on come on come on Holding it over a little bit. That's not good. It's kind of flattening out this piece right here. It's kind of pulling it flat, which I don't want to do. another thing this thing I don't think is supposed to be on that because when it pulls it together this is supposed to be in the middle but it should be floating I don't know why it's like that but I don't have time to try to figure it out either I didn't design this crap so whatever We'll just try to fight with it. <clears throat> but that's what's stopping me. As the bolt folds up and goes in the hole, the center piece here is jamming into here. If I try to force them together, it's going to flatten this out, and then when I go to torque it down, it's going to flatten this out, and it's not really going to grab where it's going to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
attempt number 3842. <laughs> not actually pulling it through the hole. Maybe I should put this side against the bolt, the back of the bolt, and then put this side through there, and then force it like that. Then the only problem is, is now it's at such a funky angle with this not being up against here flat, I can't get that nut on it. figures when I want it to fall off it won't Come on, man. Get out of the way. Impact. Get out of the way. Should do before I drop it all the way off though. Get the jack under there. Get the jack over here and then slide it off. Slide a clamp on that's already locked together. Push it all back together. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's move all this stuff around. Tumble, my elbow hit you. <laughs> for a while. Okay, let's see. Come on, tripod. Operate. Get that on there. 
it up a little bit. I think I, when I jacked it up before, it was more where my hand is over here. So let's go over here. Got a lot further to go. Uh, my foot stuck up under the trailer. Come on, you. This was so easy before. Oh, you know what? I think I might have it too high. I think I got to tilt it. Well, it should be right. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I think I need it to go here. Yeah, I think I need to jack it up here. I remember I checked. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't want to be able to grab that without hitting the clamp. Hopefully, I can get in here. Only problem with it now is I can't see I'm trying to get my clamp to slide over the, the muffler side so that I can see how far the muffler slid on to the dab uh, over the axle pipe. I don't want to unscrew this thing to a point where it pops all the way off. It looks like... I might have an issue with that. Sorry guys, you guys I got somehow you got knocked over. Um <laughs> uh, now you're looking the wrong way. So my reveal is here and my pipe is here. And I still have to get this over that, which even loosening it, I mean I, I only got like a thread left before it pops apart. Um not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it on. But I want to get this onto here off to the side to where then I can slide it the rest of the way till it stops and then slide it back over and then lock it down. Only problem is, I don't know, I might, might be able to take the other one and slide it over the tailpipe and then slide it all, all the way to here, take this one off and then hopefully slide it over. But I don't know. I mean, see, it's not being very cooperative. I don't want to finish sliding on. It's just being a pain all the way around. The problem I have is the clamp is in the way for me to be able to move it this way, or it's in the way for me to be able to go jack up here so that it'll line up straight and go in straight.
damn it, and it came apart, which I didn't want to happen. And there goes the washer. Everything else. Now I'm basically back where I started from earlier. Damn it. It's almost like they could have made this bolt longer. It would have been fucking nice. I only want to thread it on just a hair. And I'm not left handed, so don't make fun of me. Come on. Thread. There. What I'm trying to see is... Yeah, see this thing is all the way up against this pipe, but it's not up against this pipe, which is where it needs to be. It's almost like the bottom part of this block needs to be shaved. And I'm probably not... gonna be able to fight it or beat it on and I don't want to destroy it by beating the living shit out of it it's not gonna go on because it's against that instead of being on top of it why is everything gonna be so difficult It's against right here on the lip instead of going above it. And if they would have made this bolt three, two to three inches longer, I could have backed this screw all the way off, easily slide it over, positioned everything, locked it down. But instead, I have to take it loose, it comes apart, then I have to try to force it back together when it's not wanting to go back together. And at that point right there, I lose my thread, so... I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. Only other thing I can think about doing is going to the hardware store and getting longer bolts, but then I have to get this stupid fucking thing off. Basically in the same damn boat I was in. And there again, it don't like to go together like this the way it should. Because this piece is not sitting flat against here. It should be right here on the curve part. It doesn't even look like it. Where did I put the other one? Right here. This thing is not even curved. It's, I mean, it barely has a, a, a contour curve to it to, to match up to the damn pipe. I don't know, give me a second. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I think I need three and a quarters, but I got it on there, some longer bolts, and I got it clamped on, and it's pretty freaking tight, so, I don't know, hold on, somebody's calling. Alright guys, I'm back, this does not look the greatest. I'm highly upset with the way this turned out. Um, and it seems like my screw where I ground it kind of turned. I can't see if you guys can see that, but it turned. 
it's not the way it should be but mainly I think for the most part oh no oh, look at that did it just turn oh yeah it still turned so I literally just did all of this for nothing <laughs> uh, yeah because even if I tighten it down even more I think I'm already to the point where it won't go down anymore because I'm out of threads and with this turning with this part the head turning um, it's not gonna it's not gonna be happy um, and let me see could have swore it turned yeah look wiggly jiggly I don't know why this exhaust is like this. I should have just left the clamp that was on it on it. And honestly, even though I don't like them, I might do that and then get three and a quarter exhaust clamps like these instead. Um, I don't know. These things are horrible and it seems like it's not I'm trying to grab it with the wrench pull it off and I've rounded that thing to the point that should be a spot on there where it grabs where it's not all rounded that's why I tightened it well, this is awesome or I just screw it until it breaks I've already destroyed this clamp, so I mean, it is what it is. But I can't get on here because it's all mangled to pull it off. Since I ground it, I can't get. Oh, this sucks. Well, it looks like I'll be going to get the cutoff wheel. And, um... <laughs> cutting this off. Um... Wow, this is a very disappointing video. Uh, um... Wow. This really, really sucks. I mean, I can't believe this. <laughs> it's a three inch exhaust and a three inch clamp does not work. Um, I guess I'll order three and a quarters. Maybe some three and a halves. See if I can get this right. Cause I don't know why this is not working properly, but yeah, I'm sorry guys. This is one really crappy video. I'm gonna get a cutoff wheel and I'm gonna cut this thing off I wasted all that money on these bolts and destroyed this bolt. I might take the other two back um, Being that they're five dollars a piece um, And use that money toward trying to get clamps that'll actually fit and work right um, I don't know guys worst case scenario I go get the regular old-school clamps and put those on but 
I don't know, uh, the great exhaust debacle with black magic is not very fun. So, like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we can get this thing handled pretty soon. See you later, guys.